everyone, it's Michelle, and on this episode of Raft, I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the electric purifier, the water tank, and the battery charger. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you are going to need to go to a couple of places first in order for you to craft the battery charger, the electric purifier, and the water tank. You need to first go to Caravan Town, which is then going to give you the quest to go to Tangaroa Island. And again, guys, you need to collect all of the notes. I've gone over in a video of where to find all of the notes, and I did my exploration video on that. So you have to complete Caravan Town, and you must complete Tangaroa Island. And yes, there are blueprints for you to pick up, and you can only get those blueprints until after you've completed those quests. So go ahead, make sure that you've gone there. It is going to take you a very long time for you to get those two done, but once you have, you are able to now go ahead and craft the new items in game. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you need to go up to a workbench like so, and you need to learn the specific items. I've already learned the battery charger, but now what I need to do is go ahead and learn the water tank as well as the electric purifier and the water pipes for it. So right here, there are new water pipes for it because, again, it's not a fuel line. It is a water pipe, so learn that. Go ahead and learn yourself the water tank, and also learn the electric purifier. When you go into your inventory, if you go to the food and water icon here, where it says purifiers, you can see the electric purifier, and this is what it is going to cost to craft that purifier. Four titanium ingot, which is the new material in-game that you need to use the metal detector that you see on my hotbar to to find it. It is very, very difficult for you to find titanium ingot. And I had to go through, I want to say about, oh goodness, 20 different islands, and you are not always going to get titanium ingot. I've noticed that in order for you to get the best yield of titanium ingot, go back to Caravan Town, because it'll always give you three digs, or go to an animal island, a large animal island, and that will give you three digs as well too. And you have a small percentage of getting your titanium ore, which you need to smelt down into titanium ingot. You can see the cost of it as well too, so four titanium ingot, circuit board, 20 plastic, and five scrap. And if we go down one more to the other slot, you can see where I have the tank as well too here. The tank cost 30 plastic, 10 wood, 5 rope, and 3 titanium ingot, so a little bit less. And then if you go down to the battery charger, again, you see the titanium ingot as well, too, being used. So you're going to need to get a lot of titanium ingot. I've already gone over how to use the metal detector with you all, but I just want to say that you are going to go to a lot of different islands. In this dig, you're going to notice that this is probably one of the best digs that I've ever had, and I'm just showing you that this is how you get your titanium ore. Again, guys, it took me an extremely long time to find this, and it looks like a chest. You pick it up, and in my inventory, you can see that I have three titanium ore. I actually pick up a painting and a cassette, and again, this is one of the best digs that I've done. I actually went through about three metal detectors in total just to get to this point where I got one of the best digs that I've ever had. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you too with the painting because again I got a really rare item here so I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. Again guys, titanium ore is going to take you a very long time to get. That looks pretty cool. Now that we've gone ahead and grabbed ourselves our titanium ore, we can go ahead and put it into a smelter to smelt it down into the titanium ingot. So go ahead and smelt down all of yours. If you do want to craft everything in game, you are going to need a total of 16 titanium ingot because you need to take one ingot like so and one of your ingots is going to be wasted. You have to take it up to a workbench and before you learn it, if it's not allowing you to, you have to put it into the slot here on the workbench and you need to hit learn. But I've already learned my titanium ingot and I've already gone ahead and found quite a few pieces of ore as well too. And I've already smelted down some as you can see here. I'm just going to wait for this to smelt down and then we can start crafting the new items. Alright, so now all of my titanium has smelted down. I can collect that up and I can start crafting those three different items now. Let's grab all the titanium together, let's grab all the materials and let's get crafting it and I'll show you how it works. I have all the materials now so let's go ahead and craft our items. The first thing that I'm going to be crafting with you all and showing you how it works is the battery charger. 
So again, these are the required things that you need in order to craft it. So let's go ahead and craft it ourselves. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and craft two of these battery chargers for my raft. Again, you might want to craft one yourself. So let's go ahead and place these down. But before we do, you're going to notice that on them that there is a pipe. And that is because you need to hook those up to a refining source. So for example, over here on my other side, you can see that I have my biofuel tanks. And it is a very good idea that you craft yourself a separate biofuel tank for these battery chargers. So I'm going to go ahead and place mine down right here and then one right here. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a biofuel tank. I already have one crafted, so I'm going to go ahead and place that right next to it, like so. And yes, you are going to need biofuel. So go up to it, put all the fuel in, but you need to hook up the wires themselves. You need to hook up the pipes. And just to let you guys know, there is a big difference in the pipe. So when you're on the other slot here and you go down, there is a fuel pipe and now there is a water pipe. So make sure that you're crafting the correct one. I'm going to select fuel pipe because again, that is going to a biofuel and I'm going to craft up a few pipes. Just like that. And now all of them are connected. So how does this work? Well, we put the biofuel inside. Now what we need to do is get some empty batteries. You don't necessarily need a biofuel tank like this because what you can do is you can put the biofuel manually inside, but again, it's just easier to do that. And you can see that the biofuel has already gone down. Let's go grab some empty batteries. And I already have quite a few empty batteries because I have been saving mine in preparation for this. So go ahead and place those on your hotbar. select it and you can put them on and you can see that the light on them is like an orange yellow right now and that's because they're charging so now you no longer have to craft new batteries and why do you need the batteries well you need those for a number of things you need them to craft the headlamps you need them to craft the new metal detector but you also need them to power your your, your sprinklers themselves. So this is going to be incredibly useful. Not only that, guys, but you are also going to need batteries for something else, for the purifier. And I do know this from playing around with testing. So again, you want to have a battery station as well too on your raft, and it's highly recommended that you do hook it up to a biofuel system. I'm just going to show you how long it takes. All right, and that took me literally three minutes for those batteries to charge, guys. So it's going to take you about three minutes um, for the actual batteries to charge. Again, I crafted two battery stations because I have a lot of batteries that I am going to need to be crafting. So make sure that you have enough titanium for yours. So again, I, re I definitely recommend having more battery stations, especially if you have a bigger raft. But again... Um, it's going to cost more titanium. All right, so let's go on to the next areas. Let's go on to the next step. All right, now that I crafted two of my battery charging stations, I can go ahead and start working with the water system itself too. Again, guys, you need to make sure that you're saving up your titanium because this was very, very expensive. This was eight titanium for those two battery stations there. But I need it because, again, I have a lot of sprinkler systems. I'm going to need all of those battery charging stations that I need. Again, make sure that you have enough titanium. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to be crafting myself the water tank as well as the purifier itself. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up the purifier first. I'm going to craft up one. And there we go. It is now on my hotbar. I'm also going to go down to my tanks and I'm going to craft up a tank. And I'm going to show you how this works. And there is my tank here. Now, the next thing that you are going to need to do is craft up water pipes. It's very important that you craft up some water pipes. I'm going to go ahead and craft all the ones that I can. And I am going to need more water pipes. So let me go ahead and grab a few more. I need some more scrap. Now that I've gone ahead and gotten enough pipes, what I can do now is I can start playing with this right here, which is my electric purifier. And again, it says electric for a reason, okay? 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this around. And you're going to notice that it highlights as red. That's because it does need to hang off the edge of the raft itself. I'm going to put mine right over here, just like so. And you're going to notice that when you put yours down, it does have a battery slot. So that's why you are going to need one fresh battery. So that's why I started off with my two battery charging stations over here. So we have this right here. Before we do anything else, I am going to put down my water tank. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this so that it's in the correct area. And again, I'm going to put mine over here on the far left-hand corner. The reason why I'm doing that is because eventually I want to have another electric purifier sitting right here. Let's go ahead and place it right here on the corner. And that'll do. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's go ahead and figure out what it is that this does and how it works. Right, so we have our electric purifier down and we have our tank system here. So here's what I need you to understand. The way that I, myself, am using my tank system with my purifier is this. I am only going to be using it to water the crops for my animals. I want it to water the grass. You can use your sprinkler systems however which way you want you can have them water your actual crops themselves like over here like in the medium and the small but again this is how I'm using it so I'm gonna explain it to you guys how it's gonna be best used for me so think about it like this we need a battery on here now we can go ahead and place a battery on that and what it's going to do is it's going to pump water from the sea it's going to put it through the system go up and it's going to purify it inside of here. Now you can fill your water bottle with fresh water from here. You can take water from this if you wish. At a given time you can you can fill up three water bottles, three full water bottles from this system right here. One it's 100 percent full. So okay so we can take water from this. Now the next thing that you need to realize is that it does have a pipe system we could potentially take this electric purifier and hook it directly up to our sprinkler systems and as long as our sprinklers have a fresh battery in them they will water the grass but let's talk about what the purpose is of this and why I put this down well here's the thing it has an in and an out system okay now I cannot fill this back up with fresh water I can only take it I can only take the fresh water but this one here, you can put your bottles of water inside, like so. So, here's the thing. It has an in and out. So, the in is going to come from this thing. If you take a pipe and put it all the way to the in over here, it will put fresh water in this. And the reason why you would want to do this is to hold your water to dispense it out. Because if I have multiple different electric purifiers here, it's going to fill my reservoir up much faster. And it's going to be able to dispense out evenly to all of my, my different plots. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's a pain in the butt as it is right now to water all of my animals as it is. So that's why I'm hooking up my system now with you all. So let's go ahead and start doing this. This is 100% full with water, so watch what happens here. I'm going to go ahead, start putting down my water pipe, and it's going to automatically connect to the out, but that's okay. And there we go. Now watch this. This is now empty, and this is filled up. This automatically filled up. This is going to fill up with more water, and then it's going to hold it here. And again, I can go up to this and I can put in fresh water if I want. I can take fresh water out of this. So it's a give and a take. So again, I cannot put any water in here, but I can put water in this. So you would want this one to take your system. So let's go ahead and hook this up now. Let's go ahead and put it up to our, our, our sprinkler systems. So because this actually looped around, it doesn't really matter where I do this because it's all looped together at this point. So what I can do is go like this. I'm going to start bringing it over to my systems like this. Now aesthetically, this doesn't look very pleasing, but it does work. Unfortunately, I don't have batteries in there, but that's why I've gone ahead and put down the battery system. That's why I'm going over all three of these, because it makes sense, realistically, to talk about all of them. 
I'm going to get some more pipes going real quick. See if I have any scrap. Let's go ahead and get some more pipes going. And let's continue placing these. I'm just going to start it down the row like this. And there we go. I'm a plumber. Got the achievement for that. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And again, I'm just connecting up all my pipes to my water systems. Alright, so now all of my sprinkler systems are set up. So now what I need to do is get myself the batteries to put into the sprinkler system. So realistically, what this is going to do, although it is a lot of time that you need to invest in getting the materials, it's going to save me in the long run of having to deal with your animals on the raft. Because that's something that you need to think about, is how much time are you spending on the raft? What are you doing? Are you getting res resources or are you taking care of things that are around? So I'm going to go ahead and put in my battery. And it should sprinkle in a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and keep putting these down. And there they go. Took it a few seconds, but yes, it is starting to water. So now I can put all of my dead batteries that I've charged in here. I've gone ahead and charged up all of, pretty much all of my batteries that I have. So again, that's something that you guys are going to need to do too. And this is going to save me so much time. It is also going to depend on how you've organized your raft, because again, the sprinkler systems don't, don't water certain tiles ahead. So I'll be placing some around this as well too in the future. Go ahead and just put down the rest of these batteries. And that is really nice and handy there. That is excellent. So now I'm not going to have to worry as much about watering my animals on this raft. So again, the more of these electric purifiers here, the more you're going to be able to put water in here as well. So I highly recommend getting yourself enough titanium to do that. But again, the titanium is extremely expensive. It is very expensive to do this. So be very cautious about how much you're spending. Again, I used two battery chargers here because, again, I need to make sure that all of my sprinklers, the batteries, are charged. So that's the reason why I went with two of them, guys. Um, eventually, I will be saving enough to get myself another electric purifier and but for right now this is actually working out very well it's working out pretty nice alright guys and that's gonna do it for all of the new different types of water tanks as well as the battery system in raft I hope this video has been very helpful again guys if you're looking for titanium please keep in mind that it is a very rare resource and it is going to take you a very long time to get that is the one thing that will stop you from crafting all of this is the fact that you need to get titanium it is the rarest resource in the game and you need to be very cautious as well as very um, well just patient because again it is very randomized when you are you're going to get it yourself. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please consider liking, subscribing, and hit the bell icon for more notifications of when I upload next. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.